In this video we have yet another simple but very effective exercise, the deep front lunge. So you're simply going to step forward and sink down into a deep front lunge. You're trying your best here to create as much flexion, so folding at the hips. Try and keep your femur, the top of your thighs, connected to your bottom ribs and to your side and just spend as much time as you can in this position. You can have your knee on the floor or your foot pointed if you struggle with ankle dorsiflexion because the focus is mostly on what's happening at the front folded hip. So make sure you are sunk down and you are folding your hip as much as possible. Try and create a little bit of external rotation from your femur and you can use your hands to push down on your knee as well. And you can also start to play with the angle of your body. Try and floss the whole of that hip socket and femur as much as possible during this lunge and spend a minimum of 30 seconds down in the lunge position at a time. In order to make this slightly more technical, you can elevate your foot on a block or a stack of books or whatever it is that you have. This will allow you to get a little bit more depth because your foot will be elevated. Again, you're playing with all of the different body angles, try and push your knee forwards and try to get as much hip flexion as you possibly can. Finally, if you want to supercharge this exercise, you can also do it whilst holding a very light weight. The kettlebell I'm using here is an eight kilogram and the same cues apply as on the previous lunges. You're just going to spend time there and try to create as much hip flexion as you can. I'm also trying to drag my knee as far forward over my toes as possible. This is all going to help with your ankle dorsiflexion and the triple flexion of the ankles, knees and hips.